If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification. I post every day at nine, Monday through Friday. But jumping right into this, when a bull is trying to kill a matador, when a bull is charging at something, have you ever seen that bull just look over his back, turn around like while he's running straight? Have you ever seen that? No. So why would you do that in rest? Okay, the whole concept of head position is the beast follow where his head is directed, all right? An alligator swims where his nose is pointed, a shark swims where their nose is pointed, uh, a bull runs to where his nose is pointed, a, a horse runs to where their nose is pointed, all right? You can literally control a horse, that's what, a, that's what riding a horse is, is you pull their head to the side and they just run that way. This concept works with people as well. The way this ties into head position is there's three different positions you can be while you're standing and wrestling with your opponent, okay? Where your head is in contact with their head. Dead neutral is when you're facing them. You guys can be touching or not. This is dead neutral, all right? Your body is in perfect unison, all right? You can get your underhooks really quick. You can sprawl really quick. You, like, you know exactly where they're coming from. This is where you sprawl best. This is where you practice your sprawls. This is like, you know what I mean? This is like, this is how your body is supposed to work, all right? Like this. This is neutral. Neither person wants to be here because you're going, you, you don't want to shoot from this position because you're going to be facing your best opponent. If a setup, if a setup is distracting them mentally, if it's distracting them, like, like if a setup is, if an arm drag is pulling them, like you're pulling them this way. So they think they got to step this way. Like you're tricking them in their head. All right. Head position is physically distracting them. All right. It's a little bit more brute. It's like, it's not. It's not as easy. Like people are always on guard for good head position. So if you can get good head position, use it as the, like use it as a cue for a setup to shoot. Now, neutral head position is when you're directly in front of someone. Bad head position is when you're being controlled, when you are being controlled by your opponent. Okay, and what this looks like is when he has your head off of center line, all right? And he's pushing it to the side. All right, the worst position you can be is when his head is in your ear and your shoulder is completely to your, your ear is completely to your shoulder like this. All right, it sucks, it sucks. You get with really strong kids, you like, like being in this position sucks, all right? Your head is being completely controlled. Now what happens when your head is controlled like this, all right, all of a sudden, when you feel someone shooting, all right, unless you're very disciplined, unless you're very disciplined, the average wrestler, is going to sprawl where their head is facing. Think, if you're shooting at me like this, and I'm facing this way, you're coming this way and I sprawl like this, all of a sudden, you have an angle. You have an angle, right? My ankles are right next to you, my knees are right next to you. You know what I mean? And you're at an angle. My body is out of unison with yours. My body is out of, this is bad news, all right? If somebody shoots on you and they're coming at you like this, this is the worst way for this to happen. All right, so it is detrimental that you keep your head out of bad head position. Neutral is when someone's dead on with you. Bad is when somebody is controlling you, right? Making you their bitch, either way, it doesn't matter. Good head position is when you're controlling them. That's when your head is off center line and you're pushing their head to the side. But the best, the best leverage you have is in their ear. Thank you guys. All right, think of how many muscles I have supporting my head going this way. I got my whole back, my legs, my arm, like like everything is ready to push away from right here. You know what I mean? How like have your friend try to push your head to the side and you just resist like this. You know what I mean? It's a lot harder. It's a lot lot harder and unless you're extremely disciplined, it is very difficult to like to resist. What you're going to do is you're trying to control this man's head, push his head to his ear. All right, and now that you know that his sprawl is gonna be off, when you attack, it's gonna be, his defense is gonna be much, much worse. Like much, much worse. And you might get this good head position for a half second. All right, so you have to time this shit perfectly. All right, you have to get good head position, set up, shoot, all right, and commit. All right, and it's, it, it'll happen like that. It'll happen like that and the opportunity will pass you like that. All right, if you stop and think about it, if you stop and think about it, it will pass. It has to be drilled into you in practice to the point where it's second nature. A lot of the times, good head position can be accomplished by with your footwork, by literally stepping to the side and driving a little bit. Like, like you literally take a half step forward and you drive a little bit, 
and it like that'll be enough just to like uh, creates a little bit of space lets you shift your head and then you have your whole body driving into him you know what i mean and you might get good head position for uh, literally a half second but you have to use that to capitalize because you will take them down all right if if everything goes well this will be one of the cleanest takedowns you get all right and one of the like least resistant okay you're not going to get tired doing this this is this saves you a lot of energy defeating the beast with his head over his shoulder is way easier than having him looking at you okay keep that in mind took me a long time to figure that out so if you guys like that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button but until next time i'll see you guys 